Hi everybody, it's Becca with DC by Foot and Top Things to Do uh, DC. I'm here on the National Mall, uh, right near uh, many of our Smithsonian museums, which are currently reopening. Uh, I'm very excited because I'm gonna take you into a little Smithsonian site that is reopened right now. Uh, I will just give you a little heads up. Uh, if you're planning a trip or you're a local and you wanna come check out the Smithsonian museums as they reopen, most sites are requiring uh, time tickets and these time tickets are going really quickly. So if you're planning a trip, do not wait. Make sure that you get your time tickets as soon as possible. Uh, definitely start looking at your dates uh, and getting those tickets. Hopefully more tickets will become available as capacity limits increase in Washington DC for indoor sites, but um, better safe than sorry. I would definitely plan to get those tickets. Now I'm going to take you to the Hirshhorn Museum Sculpture Garden. The Hirshhorn Museum opened in 1974 uh, is our museum on the National Mall dedicated to modern and contemporary art. Uh, its focus is really art that was created in the last 50 years. Um, and I really love this museum. The museum itself right now is not part of the uh, wave of museums that are reopening, but the sculpture garden is open. And the sculpture garden is one of my favorite uh, spots. It's about 1.3 acres, over 30 works of modern art sculpture. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a tour guide and a historian. I'm not an artist myself or an art critic, but I am gonna take you around, show you some of my favorite pieces. The most important things to know about visiting the Hirshhorn Sculpture Garden right now is you don't need tickets. Uh, you can walk up anytime. They do have some capacity limits though, so if it is crowded you may have to wait a bit the other important thing to know is that masks are required while you're inside the sculpture garden so i'm gonna put my mask on and take you guys inside so let's go check it out Oh, uh, one other really important thing to know right now is uh, the only way to enter the sculpture garden is from the National Mall. So you need to uh, enter from this grassy side, not from Jefferson Street. So um, there's only one entrance and one exit right now for the sculpture garden. Of course, if you do come visit, make sure you share on social media, help promote our wonderful museums and uh, art spaces. So if you've never been to the Hirshhorn uh, Museum Sculpture Garden, uh, this was part of the original plan for the museum. So there was always a plan to have this sculpture garden. It also opened in 1974. Um, it's one of my favorite little spots on the mall when I wanna cool off, when I wanna relax, if I wanna sit and read and reflect. Uh, I love coming here. You can see that in addition to the incredible works of art that are here, it's also a really lovely green space in the heart of our National Mall. Uh, you can see there's restoration work being done on the Hirshhorn Museum building itself, which is why the museum is not yet reopening to the public. So I think I'll go this way. <laughs> there are signs, little arrows, uh, if you come to visit right now to sort of keep everybody uh, on a one-way pathway. It's a warm day here in Washington, D.C., so these sprinklers are very enticing as I walk through. Uh, what you might notice is if you're an art fan is that the collection here at the Hirshhorn uh, Museum Sculpture Garden uh, is very international. There are works uh, from sculptors from all around the world. There's actually several pieces by Rodin 
Uh, I'm gonna show you my favorite Rodin piece in a moment. And again, masks are required inside the sculpture garden. So if you're having a little trouble understanding me, I'm sorry, but I do have my mask on. In addition to Rodin, there's several pieces by Henry Moore, the British sculptor. Almost uh, everything, or I should say a good, a good chunk of the collection here in the sculpture garden does come from Joseph Hirschhorn's personal collection. His personal collection is what really created the base for the Hirschhorn Museum. Uh, he had built up this incredible collection of art uh, by the 1960s. He had a big uh, show sort of showcasing everything, and it was a hot commodity. Everybody wanted Hirschhorn's collection. Uh, at the time, uh, the president of the or I should say the secretary of the Smithsonian Institute was a guy named Sidney Dillon Ripley. If you listen to our tour guide, Tell All podcast, you've heard all about Sidney Dillon Ripley, who was a spy in World War II. Uh, Sidney Dillon Ripley is going to very aggressively lobby to get Hirschhorn's collection to really become the base of what is the Hirschhorn Museum today. Uh, the Hirschhorn Museum, as I said, uh, opened 1974, it was really the culmination though of about a 40 year effort to bring a modern and contemporary art museum to the National Mall uh, so that we could have modern and contemporary art right here in the heart of our nation's capital. So this is one of my favorite Rodin's. This is Walking Man. If you've ever been to the Rodin Sculpture Garden in Paris, the Hirschhorn Sculpture Garden uh, makes me think of that quite a bit. Another Rodin. And another Henry Moore. So probably the two most represented artists in this collection are Moore and Rodin. Uh, we're approaching probably two of the most famous piece pieces that are in this sculpture garden. Right here is the Bergers of Calais. And I apologize, my French accent is terrible. Uh, the Bergers of Calais by Augustus Rodin. This is a work that he sculpted in the 1880s. Uh, the cast that's here in this collection was cast in the 1950s. Uh, and this was of course part of Joseph Hirschhorn's personal collection uh, and was transferred to the museum when the museum was established. Um, just beautiful artistry here. And then probably the other really significant Rodin sculpture here is the monument to Balzac. Another work done a little bit later than the Burgers of Calais in the 1890s, uh, sculpted by Rodin. And then this was cast in the 1960s. And again, part of Joseph Hirschhorn's personal collection. So obviously I haven't highlighted every one of the over 30 works that make up the garden and its grounds, but hopefully you've gotten a taste for what is here at the Hirschhorn Sculpture Garden uh, and you'll come and take a visit. Again, you don't need tickets. Um, it's simply just based on capacity. So as long as there's room, uh, you're welcome to visit. You do need to keep your masks on while you're here. Um, we'll let you guys know if mask policies change. Uh, the building itself is closed. Um, so only the sculpture garden at the Hirschhorn is open and there is a one-way pathway. So while you're here, you do need to follow those arrows, kind of follow the flow through the garden. Uh, really one of my best tips in the summer is if you're out in Washington, DC, it gets very hot uh, in June, July, and August. This is a great place to come cool off. It's a great place to get in some shade. It's a great place to sit, relax, and regroup. Uh, and it's just really beautiful. Give you one last look here. And you'll see you'll exit the sculpture garden the same side that you came in 
right back here on the National Mall. So um, we're only maybe about a five minute walk to two different metro stations in this direction. Uh, down the National Mall is the Smithsonian Metro Station. And then this is 7th Street that runs alongside the Sculpture Garden. You can see the Capitol building there. Uh, 7th Street will take you right up to L'Enfant Plaza. Uh, so you have two metro stations very close to um, the Hirschhorn uh, Museum and Sculpture Garden. I wanna thank you guys so much for coming along. A little quick live video down here. I hope that this has inspired you to come check out uh, the Hirschhorn Museum Sculpture Garden or any of our other really beautiful outdoor spaces here in Washington, D.C. As always, if you have any questions, you can always drop them into the comments. Uh, even if you're not watching this live, I can always uh, jump in and answer your questions later. And if you're coming to Washington, D.C., if you're starting to plan a trip for the summer and you have questions about what's open, what's not, what do you need tickets for, uh, always reach out to us. We're here. We have a full tour schedule at dcbyfoot.com and you can always email us if you're interested in a private tour. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy this wonderful warm weather and hopefully I'll see you on a tour soon. Bye!